So hello, my name is Shelby Sievers. Uh, my Oneida name is Deyeli Waelitz, which translates to She Tells the Truth. Um, I am from the Oneida Nation of Wisconsin. The tribes that called this area home would have been the Menominee, the Ho-Chunk, and the Oneida. The Menominee and Ho-Chunk had been in this area for centuries before Europeans came. The Oneida came in the 1820s. They were displaced from their New York home. Eventually, the American government decided that they wanted to assimilate the Native Americans into European American culture, so they created boarding schools. There were several present in Wisconsin. The Native American children were taken away from their reservations and they would stay at these schools. They were not allowed to practice any of their cultural traditions, eat any of their traditional food, wear their traditional clothes. So over time, their culture was lost. And today, a lot of these tribes, including the Menominee, Oneida, and Ho-Chunk, are all trying really hard to revitalize their culture and their language. The AASD believes in working with students of many different cultural backgrounds and providing a great learning experience into their culture in order to create a good environment for those who might have lived differently. A part of that is including cultural support specialists who work with these students and hold a certain understanding of the students and their lives. I think that just raising awareness and when youth talk and when youth are the ones who are advocating for themselves, that's when the strongest impact happens. To me, it was important for these kids to see themselves reflected behind the walls at West. I think they feel like they're a part of something bigger here at West. And like when you're a part of big change and like kind of creating that change for not only them, but like also the future generations of Native students, you can see like their pride shine through that. At school, I work with Shelby, the Native American teacher here. I was always into it and then I kind of like drifted away from it. And then that's when I met Shelby and she kind of brought me back into it like a lot more. High school was where I had the biggest impact in a program like this. And I felt like I could give a lot of like my advice and like share like my own experience with high schoolers. There would be times where I didn't feel comfortable enough to stick up for myself. And if a piece of history was taught incorrectly or from like the Eurocentric point of view, like I, I didn't feel comfortable like saying anything because being the only one in the room, like you don't want to be put on the spot or like, you don't want your teachers kind of like arguing with you. My grandma has a lot of stories with a lot of racism that she's faced at school there. So she never really got the chance to embrace her native identity and culture. I feel like my mom and my dad taught me a lot about my culture and they put a lot of effort in me teaching my a lot of the ways that their parents showed up. My mom inspired me to do a lot of things. Uh, and she was the one who brought me to my first in-circle dance and it was, it was amazing. Each culture has their own ritual and dance routine. I always tell people that I don't take off my native identity ever. Like that is somebody who I am and it encompasses everything that I am. I don't take it off when it's convenient for me. I live this life, I live these values, but I still go back to my community and like that's where I feel most at home because I know that's where my roots are and that's where I most belong. It's always going to be a part of who I am. It's, it's my culture. Uh, it's always going to be with me. I, I like to know what my culture is and where I'm from and with, it's always going to stick with me and where I came from. I feel like it is really important to pass down culture because a lot of Native Americans are not really into their culture. And then the language is a really big part in our culture because a lot of people can't speak it. And it includes that, that I feel like we're losing our culture. 
Native Americans have lost a lot due to colonization, their land, their people, their culture, and their families. As time passed, they just continued to lose more and more as the country grew. It seemed they couldn't even keep their ancestors at rest without America deciding that they wanted them as well. There has been a long-standing tradition of treating burials and human remains with respect, but unfortunately not so for Native American communities. So NAGPRA stands for the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act. Um, it was passed in 1990, and it was essentially law and guideline for federal agencies and museums that received federal funding to send back any human remains or burial goods back to the tribes that they had originally belonged to. How would you feel if one of your ancestors was dug up without your permission? Oh,